everyone welcome back to the vlog so I wanted to show you guys a few things that we did in the room since the last time I saw you um, today is just gonna kind of be a day in the life there is a little bit of classroom setup in here but mostly I'm just at school doing stuff uh, the room is pretty much finished I did add a few things and I think I'm just gonna leave it where it's at because there's not gonna be any kids in here and um, I really don't need to clutter the walls and do a bunch of stuff if the kids just aren't going to be here. So, um, Scott is here. He's helping me out with some stuff. So, hello guys. Welcome to Mr. Valdez's class. Today, I have brought my wife some sushi, Philly roll. She likes that cream cheese and stuff in there. I myself got the, I don't know how to spell it, how to pronounce it. I think it's Nigeri, Nigeri sushi. And here we have some tuna, avocado, salmon. We got some shrimp and some more tuna. So that's, that's pretty good, yeah. Just got done doing a leg workout, so I figured this would be a good workout, a good good post workout. Here I have some hard boiled eggs, good some good omegas, you know, really good. Don't worry about my hair. Um, also, I got I got I got my mask. Don't worry. See, see, I, I have my mask, and then I got this for her. Hopefully, she likes it. You know. Um, Okay, now enough with the mask. And this lovely straw that goes with it. See? The benefits of living so close to home. I can get a workout in, run, grab some lunch, and take it to my beautiful, awesome wife. And have you seen this classroom? Check this classroom out. Check it out. Here. You see, I was a Marine, so we eat crayons, but here, these are like, these are like top of the line. These are like army crayons. They got markers. We weren't able to afford those. And then, that is something that you don't see every day. You don't see one of those every day. I don't even think people really know what they are or even how to use one. But that right there, sir, and, and ma'am, that's an American flag. That's what we stand for in America. And there, science is cool. Can't wait for experiments. We're gonna go ahead and try to make some volcanoes, earthquakes, all kinds of cool stuff. And here is, I don't know what those are, maps I guess. Isn't this cool though? It's a pretty cool environment for kids to learn it's really important to set the environment to make sure the kids that don't have a good home life end up coming into a classroom where they can feel loved and they can feel like, you know, this is their escape from outside world and they can learn the best. I feel like Charlotte does a great job at that. Mrs. Valdez, Apples and Tiaras, whatever it is that you guys call her. She does an amazing job at it. She's an amazing teacher. She sets a great environment for kids to learn and want to come to school. And those are the kind of teachers we need. And there's plenty of you out there. I watch your videos with her. You guys are doing a great job and keep going. And we'll be able to get back to our normal lives. He went ahead and hung up the engineering practices. And so what I wanna do is put engineering across the top and then science across the bottom, or sorry, the side. So that will be there. And then I also went ahead and put my You Matter sign up. I wasn't sure where I was gonna do with this. I wanted to put the clock in the middle, but then I thought, why not put it right here above the mirror? Um, because when they look in the mirror, they can see that they matter. I thought that was clever. And then, and then is that all I did? I think that's all I did. Um, oh, I put this together. It's not done. I still need to organize the long pieces of construction paper 
And then I think I'm gonna put these just maybe away in a drawer since they're not open yet. I'm just not gonna worry about it. As far as like setup goes, I've been here since 8 a.m. It is two o'clock. Oh, I have a meeting at two o'clock. It's 1.50. I have a meeting, like a physical meeting at two o'clock that I should probably get ready for. Um, it's um, a social emotional Sanford Harmony meeting. It should only be about an hour. But um, I'm working on some to-do list items. So because I'm departmentalized, I have three periods um, and we have three teachers. So we figured out the schedule of which kid is in which period and when that is and who the teacher is. So we have to create these student schedules for our homeroom, our homeroom class fill them out and then send them via email to all of the families um, in our Synergy. And we have to just hope that the emails are all up to date and all that stuff. Um, and then I've been working on putting together my agenda slides for the first week back, so the first three days of school, which is next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next week is the first week of school. So I'm trying to figure out like fun community building activities, get to know you activities that we can do on the computer. Um, I'm gonna be using Nearpod and Google Slides and a Google Meet for that. Should be fun. Um, hopefully have to do some like virtual meet the teacher stuff and like go over procedures for Google Meets and I'm gonna share all of this with you guys in another video but I thought I would just check in. But since my meeting starts in like six minutes, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then get ready for that meeting. So. Yeah, 92%. Good job, babe. <laughs> here in my classroom and I am getting ready to film my meet the teacher video that's why I'm all done up but you know what it feels really good to get done up after you've spent like what five months not getting done up I cannot get this coffee open I'm trying the Dunkin Donuts um, pre-made iced coffee because normally I go for the Starbucks one. This one's a dollar cheaper and I thought there's so many things I could use a dollar on. I mean, gum. If I save five enough dollars, I can get a Starbucks coffee. You know, dollar can go a long way. Anyway, so yes, today I'm filming my Meet the Teacher video um and it will be posted by this evening so i need to film it and edit it but i can do that pretty quickly um and then i have a few meetings today so i have until 8 30 to film this morning and then i'll also have some really random breaks throughout the day that i could probably use to film if i'm not done um but i feel like if i'm not done in like a half hour 45 minutes then i've gone on too long you guys know me, I like to ramble. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get that done this morning. You guys like my cup? How cute is this? It says, Teach. This is by Lipstick and Littles if you're interested. I love her stuff. You guys know that. Okay, sorry, I'm down here. My little coffee bar area that I'm not even using as a coffee bar because my fridge is not closing. Yes. Okay. Um, also, my trash can didn't get taken out yesterday, neither of them, so I'm gonna have to start piling garbage over here. All right, let's see the Meet the Teacher outfit, shall we? I don't have my real shoes on. <laughs> I should probably put my real shoes on. I guess it doesn't matter because you're probably not gonna see my feet in the video, but this dress I got off of Amazon, I believe my friend Michelle has the same one. It's super thin, even though it has long sleeves. Super thin, I'm out of breath because I just climbed stairs. Um, and very flowy. So you can imagine. I did bring a change of clothes for after the video because I do not want to wear a fancy dress all day. Okay, first thing I need to do is put stuff away. See, these are the shoes I brought to wear. I don't think I'm gonna wear them because I don't need to. 
my stuff away. And then I need to make a list of topics on the whiteboard that I'm going to discuss. Am I me the teacher video? I'm a hot mess right now, literally hot mess. Okay, put this away. I'm just Classroom is done as of now. There are still things that need to be done, but not until kids come because there's no reason to do them. It's just me in here. I know that I'm going to do a welcome. Obviously. I'm going to introduce myself. And then I want to briefly just talk to them about the current status of the world. that our school wants us to do, expectations as far as what school is going to look like for at least these first three weeks, what the kids need to be doing every day. So kind of share like a daily schedule. And then I'm gonna do a room tour because that is also per our administrators. So I'm gonna hang up this call right now. This call. I'm gonna stop filming for a second. I'm gonna go sit down check my email, make sure that I have everything covered, and then I'm going to sit down and film this thing, and then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so I'm done editing um, my Meet the Teacher video. It is, let's see, how long is it? I think it's 15 minutes, 17 minutes? 17 minutes long, and that includes a classroom tour. It's not gonna be the classroom tour that I film for you guys because I know that you're gonna want a little bit more detail about where I got stuff and things like that, how each space will be utilized when we have kids back in here. But um, I do have a PLC that starts at 9.30 and it's 9.10. So I think I'm gonna go and change my shoes at least. I don't mind the, sh the dress, it's very comfortable. <sighs> hey you guys, so it has been a long day. It's 2.45 and I am officially done with all my meetings. Wow. I did get quite a few things done today. Um, we created an email spreadsheet so that we can all enter our homeroom emails, our parent emails, so that we don't have to sit through Synergy and click every kid and write down the email and send it out. because We have 80 students. <laughs> and then I also did my parent letter today. What else did I do? I didn't do a whole lot because I was in meetings a lot. But I just got a package from my principal. My teeth look really white. It must be that Smile Brilliant I'm using. I just used it last night and I hadn't used it in a while. And I'm noticing they're like glowing. I feel like Ross in that one episode of Friends. They're like glowing. Okay, anyway, so my principal bought me a few things. Over the summer she asked me if I could put a little um, wish list together, she gave me a budget, and then she said she would purchase the items for me. This was a long time ago, and longer than before um, the whole shutdown happened, so a lot of these items I'm probably not gonna be able to use unless we are in person. This one I'll be able to use for like room decor. These are inflatable globes, so you can kind of see that they're, um, they're translucent, so they just blow up and then it's a translucent globe, and I think there's like five of them in here, but I was planning on hanging them from the ceiling, which I can't do, but I can totally use them for like a geography lesson when we come back to school. I also had her grab me this Science Experiments for Kids, and by the way, all of these are resources for my school, so when I'm done with these, they do not go with me. Um, except for those globes, those will probably go with me. Um, but, so I got Awesome Science Experiments for Kids. I got Science Skill Sharpness, so connecting um, school and home. So this might be something that I can use like from the book and use it for distance learning. Just upload it to Google Classroom. And then, oh, I love these. The Science Source books. These, this was my textbook for when I was in college for my science class. I do have one of these, a copy in my school library, but I thought it would be cool to have one for me to have, and then that way the kids can use that one and I can have this one. This is a great tool. And then I also grabbed the Four Spheres of Earth. This is gonna be one of my very first science lessons is the Spheres of the Earth. 
And then I also got The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. This is gonna be a great picture book to introduce uh, renewable resources and stuff like that. Oh, there's a Netflix film. <laughs> gonna have to watch that one. An interactive science notebook book. This is great for like foldables and stuff like that. So again, this one. And then this is what I was really excited about. I got one of these energy sticks. This won't be used till the end of the school year when I do my electricity unit, but hopefully the kids will be in here at that point because then we can use this. And then I don't know what's in here. Oh, it's a circuit kit. Cool, so this is a electrical circuit kit, which I did get some in my science kits um, from the school district, so I probably won't, like that's not the only one that I'll have now. That's so cool, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna stick this box out in the hallway so that they will, get rid of it and then I am going to pack up my things and go so I have a to-do list of things I need to get done over the weekend through Monday they need to be done by Monday so who what a day you guys I know that everybody right now is in the middle of worrying about what's what's the plan are we going online are we going in person is there a tentative date but guys I am nose deep in school is starting next week School starts for me July 22nd, which is next Wednesday. Today is Friday the 17th. So I am nose deep in the middle of what online learning is beginning like and how we have to set things up. It has been a whirlwind. I'm also at a new school, so I have all of those new things to learn. I have Google Classrooms to set up. I have emails to send out. This isn't just like, oh, the parents come in, you can hand them all your documents. I have to email everything to these parents and I have 80 of them. Um, which I'm not complaining <laughs> at all. I'm just saying like where the rest of the country is trying to figure out what the heck everyone's doing, we are doing it. We are in it, nose deep. I'm starting to taste it and I'm exhausted. I will just say that. Um, I am going to be working over the weekend for sure. And then Monday I have pretty much the whole day to work. I'll be from working from school. So if I wasn't clear, in my last few videos, I am starting the school year online. I'm starting the school year July 22nd online virtually. The governor says we're supposed to open in person August 17th, at which point people can choose whether they wanna come in person or go to school online full time. If the governor decides on the 17th, no, we're not opening schools. We will continue to be online full time until we are allowed to open in person. I don't know when that will be, I have no idea. Um, I personally am not a person who's opposed to coming in. I am healthy, I do not have anybody at home who is at risk. Cash is two, he goes to preschool. So I feel like if he's gonna catch something, um, and bring it home, it would have happened already. Um, he's at school with a bunch of kids, so he's he's already out there. My husband is a police officer. He's out there, he's in touch with the public. I don't know who he's in contact with. He doesn't know who he's in contact with, so he could bring it home anytime. So honestly, I'm in a position where I am fine to be in the classroom. I have a face shield, I have a face mask. I'm fine being here, but I know that there are a lot of teachers who are compromised and they're not comfortable coming to school yet, and that's okay. My message for parents right now is please don't blame teachers for schools not opening. Because if the governor said you have to be at your job, we would be there, we would make it work. Um, this is not our choice. We wanna be with our kids just as much as the kids wanna be here, just as much as you want us to be with the kids. It's not our choice right now. So anyway, I'm gonna get going before this turns into one of those chats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram. I do lots of posts there every day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.